so guys this is the first hairathon that we do uh, yeah i'm having to you know do my audio out of this mainly because i feel like it okay also new logo but yeah so let's just enjoy a bit of harris thorns we had to call on a bit of help to start off it was me night shadow and dad blood spiller but yeah uh we died a few times and we're like please help me i was mostly like i'm a damsel in distress so <laughs> you know all this that and the other but yeah there's no audio which is is fine you know good thing on my behalf but it's sort of also a pain with all the voiceover work and then having to re-record what I'd already done and whatnot which is fine you know I don't mind doing it um but yeah so basically these Harris storms you've got um three witch pikes which you have to take down these lost souls will recharge up the witch pikes. So basically it's like nearly impossible to solo these. But I have found out that you can solo them if you are good enough. I'm never going to be that far. But yeah. So we did this on the 14th of July. Yeah. Um, just a couple of us grouping up and yeah so these came out with Grey in 2020 yeah the year that nobody likes to talk about but yeah and we just do Western Skyrim because you know it got late got really 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 late which is fine, you know. But yeah. And did you know that uh, Horse and Tamriel haven't even seen my little logo that I've got? At, like, over there. Yeah. I spend a lot of my time just in the beginning dead. Because why not? It only hurts me. I say this. Death hurts everyone in a, in a different way. It also doesn't help that my armor was broken. We'd done this maybe five times before anyone came to help. Yeah. Five times of no help. And there was only three of us. I know. I need something to talk about. And if it's this video, then it's this video. If I go on to ramble about anything else, I go to ramble about anything else. But yeah, just kill, well, take down the witch pikes. There is a quest that you do in um, Western Skyrim that explains how you take down a harrow storm and now my weapons are also damaged my lightning stuff anyway i try and keep my clam fear out as much as possible but sometimes it can be pretty hard especially when you've got to do all the whole hand movements that takes so many seconds to get out um and then like even though it's just a healer it's not really good for tanking Although it does take a lot of the damage whenever I do my solo what bosses. Hey, if I'm not taking the damage, I get to live. That's the way I see it. But yeah. So. I don't know what to talk about. Just, just kill things. You know? Although... 
yeah I will keep that one a secret for later on um, bring in a clip I think I don't know but these hair storms do take a while and now we've got the boss finally out uh, which is you'll see a lot of these um, vampire hosts another thing we found today actually was like the dragons you can tell when they've been fought well with the harrow storms to prevent the whole oh um which harrow storm is up they've actually started doing the whole um like sword thing to say that that harrow storm is up which is pretty nice actually it's no we're no longer going so which one's up and people waiting around for them which I haven't read the patch notes so I don't know if that how long that's been out you know as far as I know the last time I did Harrow Storms which was before Blackwood released it wasn't that so we were all like which one's which one's up we sometimes got a few sarcastic remarks like uh, look up at the sky maybe and you'll find out and I'm like but I'm in Markarth so nothing's gonna show up in these walls so I'd go outside and I'd look up and be like, ah, right, it's that one. And then we're showing back. Yeah. So that's a nice little change. Um, but yeah. Very nice. I also don't know how long this video is going to be. Because already this clip. This one Harrow Storm took us seven minutes. <laughs> okay, we're seven minutes in. And let's just take all of our stuff. Okay. So guys, this is the second Harrow Storm. Um, again, no audio. Um, to be quite honest, I don't know what was going on with my audio in this, you know? There's literally no audio, and yet I checked it. Could be stream elements. I know. Not recording audio again. It did it um, with my diving video, actually, where my intro and outro weren't, like, didn't have any audio. It's very odd. Um, which is weird, but it is what it is, you know? But hey, it's fine. But hey ho, you know you do what you gotta do. And I can't have a video without any audio, can I? Even if it is, you know, just me talking over what I've done. Sorry, we do get faster at this, I think. Um, and then we get slower towards the end because people start getting off for the night, but it's, it's good. You know, quite well. Um, I know that tomorrow we plan on going to the Reach, but I might change that to maybe next week if I'm free. Um, just the guys want to do some more Harrow Storms, you know, get their achievements. Which is basically what I do. You know, I set up things. This was... What we started doing tonight was pledges. And then we went, right, you know what, we'll do some Harrow Storms. Um, so this was kind of like a surprise event that I did. You know, I, I usually set up the World Boss events, but... Yeah. So, yeah, let's just, um, and there's that one. It's pretty quick, pretty simple. As I said, we got faster. <laughs> but yeah. So, guys, uh, this is the third Harriston that we did. Um, two of our guild members, um, N7, Dragon, and I believe Bert were at this one. Uh, they knew where we were going because of the map telling them where the next Harrowstorm was. So they're like, oh, right, so this is where they're going. 
you know. Um, they then joined, well, N7 didn't, but um, Bert did. Uh, but yeah. Um, so we gained an extra few followers with this. Uh, but yeah. So as you can see, we're getting pretty quick. I mean, that last clip was about three minutes, give or take. But yeah, um, which pikes go straight onto those if you can, if not try and get the lost souls. As I said before, they will heal up the uh, place, the witch pikes, and you don't want that otherwise you're there forever. Which it can take forever. It's awful. Um, I remember doing this to begin with, um, you know, being one of the first ones with Greymoor. And I'm like, ooh, what's this? I got domed and I believe it was actually this one that was my first tarot storm and I'm like I don't know what I'm doing run around run around run around I felt like a noob doing dolmens which I haven't felt like that since late October uh, 2018 that's when I started the game and I was living in Somerset because it was the DLC that I was in. It was where I spawned in to the game. So I think I actually got out of Somerset, say, January 2019. Where I'm like, oh, there's actually all of this. And, you know, being new and I've just been living in Somerset for the past few months. Um... It was while I was in Eleanor that I was invited to the Horseman Stables, which is the sister guild to Horseman of Tamriel. Um, I joined Horseman of Tamriel a few months later. Um, and that's where I've stayed ever since. It was Panda who invited me. Just a lonesome noob trying to work out where the hell she's going. You know, after that, I didn't feel so noobly. <laughs> noobly. Noobly, noobly, noobly. I know I'm going to tire that one out a bit. It's fine. Um, but yeah. So we've got a titan. Which is like nearly dead. Hold back the night. I don't know why Bert said that, but he did. Back at the night. Sounds like something um, out of a song or something. I don't know. Could be a command. Who knows? So, guys, this is the fourth one, and as you can see, Bert already started it up. Bert is also in the chats. Um, can't hear in game chat. Again, you can't hear the party chat. I really don't know what was going on with the uh, audio in this, like, at all. But yeah. So, let's see just how quickly we can get this one done, shall we? As you can see, there's like seven of us in the group. I'm not sure if we got any lonesomes joining. I don't think we did, but... Who knows? I might have missed something. Which, um, you know, you can always see when you rewatch your stuff. Stuff that you don't notice when you're in the game, you notice when you've recorded and then you, you're editing. You know, when you can just sit back, relax, just look at the entire screen and not what you're actually doing. You know? So, what you'll notice is a running thing so we all start like focused upon the same witch pike but then i'll go off onto a different one then realize that they're all at a diff the other one so i then run over to them you know and something that happens quite a bit within like this entire process 
you know, they say, oh, yeah, we're going to this one. So I go over to that one. Um, and then they all go over to the other one. I'm just like, excuse me? <laughs> Leaving me by my lonesome? Okay, now they're all coming over to mine because they've destroyed theirs. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm all by my lonesome. Help me. But, hey yeah. It is what it is. But we bring it down pretty quickly. I do need to work on my DPS. These these numbers are really, really poor. Makes me feel so weak. But mm, I mean I'm I don't have my buff food on, you know. Um in fact I don't think I put any food on at all during this thing. I just kept my armour up, my weaponry, you know. And another vampire lord. Just like the first one. But yeah. Oh, I got a new friend. I got a new friend. I like friends. You know? In fact, I should probably go and um, send them a friend request back. It's fine. But yeah, basically, that person that you've just seen is pretty new to the guild. Just like uh, my real-time friend who joined the guild just yesterday because I invited them well they started playing the game I thought might as well you know join where I always hang out but yeah um just almost there um I'm just hunting for it I'm like where did it go where did it go just follow the blue light, really. It's what it is. And it just appears there. But yes. Okay. And that's done. So let's go get our reliquary. It's only a few items. Uh, turn on the light. Oh, Bert. I don't know why you're shouting this, but... You know. So that was four minutes. Oh, yeah. Blood ampers. Worth a pretty penny. Okay, so this is, what, the fifth storm? Uh, we've got one more up here to do after this, and then we'll be going to Blackreach, which is underneath Skyrim. Yeah. Mushroom land. God, that sounds like um, Wonderland, doesn't it? Mushroom land. Uh, but yeah. You know, we... Have a few stupid deaths, stupid deaths. Hope next time it's not you. Hehe. <laughs> um, not a car, but you know, sometimes we just just have to stand in stupid. Especially when we kind of go AFK and then stuff hits us, or we run out of stamina. Aren't I such a high level? No. Champion point one thousand five and fifty-five. No, not really. Although my goal is um, this week to get to, I believe, champion point 1060. If I can get higher than that, brilliant. But once I get to CP 160, it will go up to CP 170 and continually go up. I mean, I take my enlightenment um, to granted. <laughs> I basically use my enlightenment, level up, and then, you know, be happy. Same with the fact that I have nine tunes now. So, daily writs each day. Another thing I found out um, recently was that you can only do 50 dailies on each tune a day. Which is kind of upsetting. You know, but it does mean... That, you know, people aren't just farming 400 odd quests each day to be like, ooh, I'm super, super rich. You know? Because otherwise the ESO economy would be broken. <laughs> you know, if everyone had like, you know, a trillion gold in one day from doing 417 quests. Uh, like, between 362 gold and 724 I think it is 
something daft like that. Um, that's only for me because I've got um, the champion points for extra gold that you can get from quests and treasure chests and everything else. You know, I, I like my gold. Lady Alanta Aldemary likes her gold. Yep. Hey, you gotta you need gold to buy things. But that's another Harris Dom done, so pick up the reliquary. Come on. It says that we've got a thing and Ooh, I've just leveled up. Yay! So this is the last one and Bert just ran in there. You know, the last one for up on the top land and not underground. Basically, on Earth, on Nern, on Mundus, whatever you want to call it. On Tamriel. Okay. Um, and then after this, we will go underground um, and slay some Harrowstorms there. You know? Where the Dunmer kind of hung out, I guess. And the only place that you can get Crimson Nern Crux, which is like a super rare ingredient um, in uh, Skyrim. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Also, I've heard. I mean, I've never found one in my game play. But I'm probably looking in all the wrong areas. Maybe. And then I just go up on. Skyrim, follow the places that they are in ESO and be like, ah, found you. I don't know. It all depends. Oh no, my control is connected. <laughs> oh, what a time to be alive. This actually is what killed me, is the controller disconnecting. And I'm just like, no, why, why are you doing this to me? But it's fine. Oof, just got sucker punched. By ice arrows. I mean, it is a Harris Dom ab abomination, so where did the ice arrows come from? Unless there's a um, ice staff wilder somewhere around. I don't know. I don't know. Oof. That fire. Fire is not your friend. never is fire no good thing comes from fire unless you're at a campsite and you are cooking your meal or you're roasting marshmallows mmm roasting marshmallows those do sound nice about now mmm or just marshmallows in your hot chocolate with whipped cream on top and then you add the marshmallows on top of those those are nice too. But that's more of a, my Christmas drink, that is. Since I've never had eggnog. Why am I talking about Christmas now? See, I'm rambling on. I don't know what I, why I'm doing, why I'm saying what I'm saying, but I am. I guess it just works, you know. Um, so the boss is up. As you'll see, there's like maybe three bosses that you can get. You can get the Vampire Lord, the reaper looking thing and the ash titan but yeah ooh glowing blue thing in fact I don't even know what that glowing blue thing is probably have to look it up where the reliquary was um that's a certain someone's gonna comment oh by the way it's this you dumb bitch and I'm like yep now I feel really dumb you know Hey, and I don't mind. Okay, and we're burning that pretty quickly. But yeah, also, if you haven't noticed, I've got a new skill. It's my white button. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! I was left to do this alone, only at the beginning, because my clan fear decided that it wanted to run in. As you just saw. So I'm just like, ah, right, guys, help me. You know, although I am taking out some lost souls, trying to dodge 
the um, AoE attacks, I guess. You know, the pink circles on the floor. Because they're always a pain. But yes, um, they slowly start coming in one by one. Bert went to bed. Night night, Bert. Especially if you didn't hear. So, you know, we all said good night. But yes. Good night, Bert. Good night. Good night. But yes. Um, and then there was six. Yep. Um, one which Ike down, I believe that was. Um, but yeah. And there's only like four Harrow Storms here. My Twilight and Clan Fear aren't out. Um, that just then was one of the skins that you can get in the game the meridian purified which is after you do i believe vet scale caller peak um just someone went oh you have that skin that i want and i'm like well i don't have it someone else does um so yeah and i basically volunteered <laughs> to go in there and i admitted that i'm not the best player Okay, I I die often in vet, but I'm slowly getting there. You know, you're just going to need some good old-fashioned carrying. Just fair enough. You know, good healer, good tank, maybe an extra DPS. Go on to, say, your DPS, just so you can put in some damage. Um, as, say, your dies and your Skins and your costumes and your momentums and your emotes they all transfer over to your other characters because they are account bound not character bound it's how all my other characters don't look so newbie because they have all these different colours <laughs> and you're just like you shouldn't have that at that level oh yeah I've got like a champion point 1000 character who does all my achievements and that's how I have all these colours. Alright, so you're not a noob. Nope. It's very nice. I'm going to be slowly working on them. Um, but yeah. It's fun. Yeah slowly working on all the achievements it might just take me a few years you know for the no death speed run um and all that but hey we'll we'll get there in the end i guess but yep yeah, this one's nearly done and it's just another vampire lord i think the most that we actually got was this one which means it's the most common common of the common Ugh, heights Ugh, they're all fun, aren't they? But hey ho. We should almost be close to this. A few more hits. Ooh, the near death experience. And he'll never rise again. <laughs> yeah, never rise again. And I believe that was the last Harriston that I needed for the achievement. <laughs> it took me long enough. Oh, is it the north one that's up? Oh, and the north one. Yep. I'm at one now. Going to it now. That's probably what I'm going to, yeah. Well, I got... Yeah. yeah. Miss Reed, are you, are you the one that's uh, active? Yep. I literally appeared and everything just came at me. <laughs> I'm like, shit! <laughs> you can't even, like, stay on the path without them going, he he he, prey. I am the predator. <laughs> Oh. Oh, fucking owl of, owls of Cahool. The predator. No, Dad, no. <laughs> mm. No, no, Dad. 
can't even do the whole night nights. Night nights. Night nights. But we do. Is it the night is it the night storm? I'm not sure. No, we literally just go night nights. We've got a problem with that. And we go night night. That's the leader of the group. <laughs> Fuck am I getting to that right down? Right. Mm, he's probably gonna promote me to mm. leader. Wolf. We're going to be getting cake here. God damn it, Dad. At least I'm two African night night ritual. Run, you fucking. I can't remember the name of the bloody mountain now. <laughs> Ice. Bastard. Onyx. Oh, Bastard dog. Um... <laughs> Can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. 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 Snap. You're a monster. I'm not a monster, you are. <laughs> You and those fairy tale. Not my gumdrop bones. <laughs> Do you know the muffin man? The muffin man. Don't tell him anything. <laughs> the muffin man. Yes, I know the muffin man. The one who lives on Derry well, Lane. Married to muffin man. I have the other muffin man. We got a big order to fill. It's a fong. <laughs> it's a fong. <laughs> we got a big order to fill. It's a fong. <laughs> I am where are these other? I am bullshit, I'm not! <laughs> Let me see you silly at all! I'm not! It's a long! Night briefs! <laughs> oh my god, you know what? Yeah, now that I'm editing oh. that, I've now got to get a photo of Gingy just to put it at the bottom corner. <laughs> no, he needs me! He's good! <laughs> no, 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 no! Fucking hell. No, 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 no! <laughs> TikTok. My daughter! She gets me to watch Sco uh, either Scooby Doo or Shrek. I'm pretty sure I can reel off any fucking line that there is. A style, you baby! I can win it! I can kill! <laughs> and look at me, Shrek! I'm trotting! Trotted! Oh, don't think the boss you Mr. Bad, it's all bad. Warning, do not drink unless blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> not for those with nervous dispositions or with hard fans. Chunning places! What? Chunning <laughs> places! Yeah! <laughs> you made me do something I really don't want to do. My diet is ruined. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Alright, so, and I'll have the medieval meal. One even meal, the Harrod curly fries. No, no, no. Stop taco. Come on. There you go, fairy godmama. There be your medieval meal. We will go. <laughs> and this comes with medieval meal. Here you are, dear. Here you go, baby. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, mother. Mother? <laughs> oh, look, a talking horse. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek quotes compilation. Now this is a good show. <laughs> <laughs> your mess, where are we buffaloing? On your left. Your left. Aww. <laughs> it's nine on nine. <sighs> Do the round. Do the round. Do the round. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> Ah! Oh, I'm an ogre! Ah! Well done, Shrek. <laughs> and who said I wanted to get to, to join his family? Uh, you did? You when you oh, married wait, wait, me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Did we all die at the same point sometime? Because all the pikes stack up. Oh, shit. Maybe. I only just fucking noticed that. I was like, shit! <laughs> Bring my memories of running around the couch. <laughs> Trying places, yeah, trying places. <sighs> We're too busy doing Shrek quotes that we just like died. Yes, <laughs> we just totally all died and no one noticed. Yep, it's because Dad left. Yeah, except the streamers. Right, right, next pike, go. What, the one person in my stream just watched us all go, die? All your area attacks, all of them. Oh, we're doing that. Which one we're doing? Which one we're doing? Oh. This one there. I'll run the other one. 
We'll get to this one. Bitch. That's being mean. Ooh, someone's got a chain going on. I out. think we only started going into group chat because he was on Pokemon Go. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we play Asshole. Pokemon Go together, okay? And he was out and about, and we just like... Who plays Pokemon Go anymore? <laughs> Me. It's all about the Harry. It's all about Harry Potter version now. <laughs> I want a Lilo and Stitch version so I can go out and catch all those freaking experiments. But hey. What is it? <laughs> oh my god, yes. Okay, okay. Let's put a petition: Lilo and Stitch version of Pokemon Go. Let's just have to go in the sun now. Yes. Let's just have. Let's just go bow. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. My name's Stitch. Mal non Stitch. It's still good. Broken. It's still good. Yes. So good. <laughs> oh, how not move Bamel? Bamel move nobody. You know, you know how hard it is not to do Lilo, uh, to do Stitch and not sound like Gollum? I don't sound like Gollum. No, what I'm saying is it's so hard to actually do Stitch without sounding like Gollum because there's so many characters that actually sound like Andy Serkis' Gollum. Mm. And you know, when you, you like, when you got like, um, like Stitch, it's like, oh, Hannah, me family. And then you do Stitch, if you do Gollum, you're like, oh, Hannah, me family, yes. <laughs> yes, pieces. You know, or, um, um, Gertie out of um, Black Cauldron. Mm. And they've all got that kind of voice. Or even Jar Jar Binks. Oh no. Missing a yes or yes or not bad. Missing by the ring because it's precious. Oh god. <laughs> Do you think next time you watch Star Wars you see Jar Jar Binks you'll be like, why is it going to sound like Gollum? <laughs> Andrew doesn't like watching um, those ones. Why? Because apparently it. The relationship between Anakin and Padme is just so bleh. Very Romeo and Juliet, and he's just not oh. into it. His words. Oh, it is a love story. I know. <laughs> but yet he'll watch Clone Wars. Well, got... hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, princess, for staring at you like that. Mm. Oh no. So let's uh, begin this. Um, just kill all the few harrow th fiends and, you know, just get this started, I guess. We're almost all done. Um, this is, I think this is the second from last one that we did because I called it like the end because of the time. Um, you know, the guy, <laughs> this is basically where we were like, right, we'll do the reach ones tomorrow. You know, there's only five of us now, um, but we did it. And I know there was audio in the last clip. Why isn't there now? Because I turned it off, you know? I only kept, I only uh, sorted out the audio um, while we all had a bit of a break, you know. Um, and then we had Stitch quotes and Shrek quotes, but mostly Shrek quotes. I don't know where it's, how it started, but it just did. I don't even know what brought that on, but hey, it was something. But hey ho. Just a bit of fun. Um yeah, there is audio at like in these bits, but I'm just like, nah. I I'll, I'll do the voiceover work. Um I just remember that happening, uh, when I actually sorted out the audio. because uh, I actually realised that the audio wasn't being picked up. But yeah. So yeah, if 
mostly the audio that I did pick up was like crackly and whatnot, so yeah. Mute it all and I'll just do the voiceover work, sort it all out and whatever else. If it works, it works. But somehow I got that clip to work and whatever comes out afterwards. But yeah. A little bit of fiddle. Um, you know, mainly with my settings, my mic. You know. I think all the crackling was coming from my end, to be quite honest, because I was using two microphones. I was using my headset, which picked up my Xbox voice, and then I was using this. So, yeah, that could have been it. I think I've got to mute this whenever I'm on headset, just to make sure that it doesn't start crackling, which is fine, you know? Um, you can actually find this up on my Twitch anymore because as soon as I downloaded it, I <laughs> deleted it. Just so if people were to watch it, there wouldn't be any crickle crackle. You know? But hey, hey. It's fine. A few of us die, but that's only, that's only because there's, what, five of us? We didn't have any randoms from the zone come and help or anything. Just just us guild members. And it was like two o'clock when everyone went to bed. You know? Something like that. Maybe a little bit before. But hey. It is what it is. You know? Bit of this, that and the other. Okie dokie. And once again we've got a vampire lord. Aren't they lovely? Especially when they go really, really high. But you cannot actually reach them with any of your weaponry or skills. No matter how much you try. You know? This part right here. Not that you can see it. Because uh, we're focusing more upon this wolf. There he comes in. But they go really high up. And I'm like, you have no feathers to keep you up. You basically have a bone out of your back. Very pleasing. Very pleasant. I wonder how that feels. I really don't. In fact, I have a necromancer vampire now, so... I wonder if I get to transform into that. Hmm. But yes. I'm pretty sure um, CCO turned into um, his tank just to try and make this a lot easier on us. Oh, when did you get back down? That's what happens when you try and follow and then suddenly just whoop, back down. Follow the pets. It's how you find out where they're going to spawn. <laughs> the pets know things before their owners. Mainly because they're also NPCs. Dodge and take some damage. But yeah. We're almost done with this. He doesn't know who he wants to attack. He's t attacking the tank, who apparently has like zero skills. <laughs> oh, but you know he did—he did good. You know, and one more hit and done. And let's get the reliquary. So. Here is the last clip. It's a bit short, a bit snappy, especially when a little something happens that really confused us all and we all just went, what? Um, basically we got this done and you'll see what I mean um, at the end. I won't spoil what happens, but um, yeah, we're all just like, eh? Because it was that short, we're like, 
Did we did we miss something? We didn't. Um but yeah, this one's got crows in it and we all know that we hate crows. <laughs> or should I say, we love crows really. Hmm. <laughs> no we don't. We really don't. We we hate crows. It brings us back these fond memories of the world boss in this clockwork city, I think it is, with the three Wraithith crows. But if you're not quick enough with it, it's a pain. So, yeah. And I actually have my twilight out. You know? I can't remember if this one is one that I use for healing as well. I just know that it's there to boost my health. Because, you know, DPS's solo builds need their health. Uh, which is what I plan on making with this character. I mean, she can solo what bosses, no problem. It's just everything else. You know? Harrow storms, mainly. Um, DLC dungeons, nah. That's going to be a while yet. Maybe when she hits CP 3600, she'll get there. But hey, so yeah. So um, I think this is the last witch pike. Oof. But yeah. Um, basically, you usually destroy all three witch pikes, right? And then the boss appears. You'll find out in a moment what I mean. Um, but yeah. Bountiful harvest indeed. Um, the thing is, there's no boss line. You kind of also hinting at what um, happened. We actually got no boss with this one. So we did the witch pike and then it just ended no boss line no nothing yeah we like <laughs> wait what so there we go and the reliquary is complete you know we've just got those last two but no boss we were all like eh but yeah we got really confused there but Let's just leave it on a confusing note, shall we? So guys, that was the Harrowstorm event for Western Skyrim. Uh, we plan on doing the Reach, as I said before, later on. <laughs> so um, yeah guys, stay safe, stay soul-shriven, and peace out.